Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Uh, just wanted to make a video dedicated to our Independence Day, uh, the United States of America. And just that we should um, honor the day that we separate ourselves from tyranny, declared independence, and there ensued um, a very bloody battle with England. Uh, but uh, just want to thank um, our the men that died and sacrificed themselves for that independence um, that they uh, believed in the, the, the vision of the United States and that we should have religious freedom uh, a freedom that's, that's founded on uh, biblical uh, morals and uh, that um, was on the foundation of God and that there was a creator that gave us uh, unalienable rights um, that every man has. It seems like our country has forgotten um, those uh, who have sacrificed themselves to build the foundation of this country. And the politicians um, that we have now uh, are disconnected from the people, they're disconnected from our roots. Um, and we are in a sad condition. Um, but today, we can remember um, who we are as a country and who has gone before us. And looking back, we can press forward and hope to change uh, our nation and, and, and get pol politicians in office that do support our Constitution and do support what our Founding Fathers believed in. Um, because once you remove the foundation that the United States of America was founded on, then we no longer have legs to stand on. We have cut the legs off of the United States. And who can stand without legs? So, celebrate hard today. Be proud of your American. I'd like to read you something. Um, from John Adams it's a quote that he said to his uh, wife Abigail uh, he was actually off by two days in his prediction of Independence Day but um, here it is anyway so the second day of July 1776 will be the most mem uh, memorable uh, epoch in history of America I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by success, uh, succeeding generations as the Great Anniversary Festival. It ought to be commemorated as the Day of Deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other from this time forward forevermore. So there you have it. Celebrate and give glory to God for um, the blessings and bounty he has given us. Um, and it, he has certainly blessed this country. I'm not sure how much longer that will last um, if we turn our backs on him. But we can only do our best to voice our, voice our, um, st uh, our morals and, and to constantly remind the higher-ups 
that we have not forgotten why we celebrate Fourth of July, and we have not forgotten what we had to sacrifice as American people to be Americans. Don't you forget that. God bless everyone, and um, happy Independence Day. <laughs>